Hello Learn Dash friends, I'm back again with another video. And today we're going to be in integrating WooCommerce with Learn Dash. Uh, WooCommerce is a great plugin and uh, provides a shopping cart experiences for those looking to purchase your courses. So if you're ready, let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go into our settings, click on general. And we need to make sure this button here is selected. Anyone can register. So make sure you've done that. And then we're ready to install our add-on and plugin. So first we're gonna go ahead over to Learn Dash, click on add-ons. And we're gonna install the WooCommerce for Learn Dash add-on. We'll just click install now. Activate plugin. All right, and now we're not ready to install WooCommerce itself. So we're gonna head over to plugins, click add new. We're gonna search for WooCommerce. Click install now. Activate. And now we're taken to an onboarding wizards. So here we can enter all our business information. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Click continue. And now you just have to enter the kind of business that you're using. So I'm just gonna enter an education. And here you just leave physical products selected. We won't be selling physical products. We'll be uh, selling a course type, but that's where the uh, WooCommerce add-on for LearnDash comes in. So we'll just leave that with physical products selected. Click continue. Click I don't have any. No. Click continue. We're gonna deselect the recommended business features and click continue. And we're going to continue with my active theme. I'm using Astra. And uh, if you're using another theme, it'll pop up for you here. So we're going to continue with this. All right, so our store is basically set up. We just have to enter a few settings to uh, get things going. So first, we're going to head over to settings. OK, so in this section, we have to deselect allow customers to place orders without an account. And we want to select the following options. So it'll allow customers to log into an account, allow customers to create an account during checkout, and allow customers to create an account on the My Account page. So when you're done with that, click Save Changes. And now we're ready to set up our payments. So we're going to click on the Payments tab. And we're going to set up Stripe. So if you don't have a Stripe account ready, you can do this during the onboarding wizard. But uh, I have my account already set up, so we're going to click Create or Connect an Account. I'm going to click Connect. All right, so now we just have to enter a, a webhook. So we need to go into our Stripe settings to do this. So I'm going to open up my Stripe account. I'm going to copy this URL that it has here. Now I'm going to go to my uh, uh, Stripe account, so it automatically opens up to your webhooks page. So I'm going to click on Add an Endpoint. I'm going to paste the URL that I just uh, copied. I'm going to select, uh, select all events to listen to. Click Add Events. And scroll way down to the bottom and click Add Endpoint. All right, so now we need to paste the signing secret back into our WooCommerce settings. So under signing secret, secret, we'll click reveal. We're going to copy that. Go back to WooCommerce and click on edit account keys. Now in the webhook secret field, we're going to paste that, uh, paste that code in we just uh, copied. Click save live keys. And there it's enabled. So it's just saying that we uh, are missing some business information. So we're gonna update that now. Click 
click save. All right, so that's saved. Now we can go back to WooCommerce. And now we're ready to set up uh, a product. So um, when you're setting up uh, a course, you're gonna need to uh, set up in a separate product for it in WooCommerce. So on the left-hand toolbar, we're gonna click on products, add new. And we're gonna scroll down here and click course. And we can enter our price here. We'll just say $5 for now. And in the Learn Dash courses, it'll once you enter your cursor there, it'll pop up with a list of your uh, uh, available courses. So I'm going to click Learn Dash Setup and Add-ons. I'm going to set a product image. And I'm going to enter a little short description. This will appear in the store page. Okay, once I've done that, I'm just going to copy this and paste it into the product short description as well. And so now we click publish. Now once we've clicked publish, you'll see a uh, URL appear here. So we want to copy this link. And now we have to go over to our Learn Dash course itself. So we'll head over to Learn Dash LMS, click on courses. And then we're going to click on edit the course for the product we just created. We'll click on the settings tab. Now, if you want to use WooCommerce, you need to select the closed option under access mode. We'll set the course price at $5 again. And the URL, this is the link we just copied for our product page. So we're going to paste that into here. And then click update. All right. So now let's go back and see what we have. Now, when I click on enroll now, take me to this page I can click take this course and it takes me to this beautiful product page so I can click add to cart now I can click view cart proceed to checkout and now you can just enter in your the customer can enter in their contact information their credit card and the purchase will be uh, will be made so I hope this helps you set up your uh, WooCommerce in integration. It's a great shopping cart that allows you to create coupons and all sorts of other features. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to set that up. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you later. All right, bye-bye.